back everyone ios 14.8 just officially came out so let's go and take a look at it on the good old iphone 8 plus now what i can tell you is for sure i love the iphone 8 plus it's a great phone but this update was pretty interesting it didn't really bring any crazy features or anything like that but one thing i want to show you is with 14.8 it was 362 megabytes coming from the previous version of ios so that's always good to see. Not a crazy, crazy big update, but still a couple hundred megabytes. That's pretty important. But you can see right here, there's already a little change. Apple went ahead and added the 14, just the number within the cool font within the settings panel. This was similar to with iOS 15, what Apple did. But you can see if we swipe over, this was what it looked like before. So we literally just had the settings icon, which totally looked a little different. So overall, this pretty much showcases and just reaffirms the fact that Apple is probably going to push out iOS 14 updates the same time iOS 15 is coming out. They've already given us the ability to do this within the settings panel. So I think that's really cool to see. I can't wait for Apple to officially do that because then we can get two updates at the same time, which is going to be really, really awesome. Now, that's really pretty much the main changes, at least visually, that I can see. There's no like features added as far as I can tell. There's no like UI changes. Pretty much the main change that happened is with the security fixes and security bugs that Apple went ahead and patched. So there was one little exploit that with specifically with PDFs, some people would be able to, I guess, download a PDF, embed some code within there, and exploit your specific device. Very uncool. I hate any exploits that risk security concerns. I guess jailbreaking. I guess I'm a hypocrite because of that. But for sure, Apple went ahead and patched that, which is good to see. I like seeing those type of things. And there was another security fix as well within this update. So overall, should you install iOS 15 or iOS 14.8 on your iPhone 8 Plus? Well, I will definitely tell you, yes, I think this is a very extremely important update to install. It's a security fix update. Apple didn't go and like add some cool features as far as I can tell. No UI changes as far as I can tell either. But the better question is, should you install iOS 15 when that comes out? That's coming out tomorrow or sometime like within the next week or two. And without a doubt, I would highly recommend you to not install iOS 15 on any iPhone that you own. That is just asking for trouble. You're going to have a ton of issues and I would recommend you to stay on iOS 14, even like 14.5, it's going to be more stable than iOS 15. The longer you wait, the better experience you'll have. But with 14.8, I would highly recommend you to install this update. But with iOS 15, I would probably recommend avoiding that at all costs right now. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.